All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, and And that's the true names of the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, again in the Lashwan Kodash, the Holy Tongue, the Paleo Hebrew. Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls the Most High God or Heavenly Father. And Yahweh means He is, He is to be, He exists. Bahashim means in the name. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And Yahweh Shai means he is the Savior, he is the Deliverer. Bahashim in the name, Raka Kodash is the Holy Spirit. Uh, I want to give a double honors to my apostles, to the bishops and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this truth, and peace and salutations to you, Akim, to you brothers that's pushing this word throughout the four corners abroad with true sincerity, fighting and pushing to be part of that hopeful elect, that Bayaf Dawada. And Shalom to the Akwaf, uh, the sisters that may be tuning in and listening and learning in silence uh, under the vibration of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh uh, this is the brother Taza War Bonaparium from the GMS Boston camp back with a quick lesson. And as you can see here on the screen, I have a uh, an article from the source of uh, end time headline end time headlines dot org. And the heading reads attacks on churches are up 800 percent. But that is only a small preview of what is coming in 2024 and beyond. Hey, man, and we've been here telling you starting again from the apostles and bishops and elders and brothers on down from great millstone that a hey, hellish hellish conditions chaotic doom and gloom uh, uh, uh misery is coming great death is coming to the world and um because it's ultimately the will of yahweh bashim yahweh shai and there's not going to be uh, 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 no place that's going to be safe if you don't got the hedge of yahweh bashim yahweh shai uh, for protection you know, and a lot of great miseries and judgment is going to be coming to the earth, you know, and those that don't take heed, you know, they want to trust in their pastors or, you know, they trust in their churches and their congregation. You're not going to be safe, man. And we've been telling you that these churches are, are hardly houses. These pastors, they're they're not they're leading the sheep uh, uh, astray. And and these churches are going to get attacked because ultimately there's no truth in them. You know, they're pushing forth uh, uh, a false uh, God or a false savior, you know, that has our people um, being led astray into following idolatry, you know, worshiping uh, idols, you know, uh, not taking heed to the truth and, 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 and following after these false pastors that's leading them astray. So the Lord's going to bring judgment. There's going to be, we say there's going to be a lot of great death and miseries and judgment that's going to take out in the streets. But these churches as well, they ain't safe either, you know, because they have a lot of blood on their hands. These are mainly these pastors that, that sold out, you know, that have taken that 501c3 charter tax exemption. Uh, and we're talking mainly to you Israelite churches and pastors, man. You know, they took that uh, tax exemption to teach you lies, man. You know, and they're not teaching the truth about uh, uh, prophecies that's going to come to America and throughout the world. They're teaching you uh, God is only love, is all love, you know, or they're teaching you the prosperity doctrine, you know, which is which is not beneficial that's going to keep you safe and give you a uh, uh, hope for salvation in these times come, man. They're giving, they're giving you a false uh, 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 narrative. They're, they're lying, you know. So the Lord also has uh, created spirits created for vengeance. And there's going to be a lot of great judgment that's happening to those that say they are uh, uh, Christians or Catholic or, you know, seven day events and so on and so forth, man. The the most high does not dwell in, in temples made of hands. And I'll get that, man. So a lot of great judgment is going to be happening into these churches. And we've been telling you this for years, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh was shot. But now articles, hey, the end time headlines are speaking on it. And it says attacks on churches are up 800 percent. Well, ultimately, this world is uh, 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 as not a God fearing nation. You have the wicked the, the, the earth has been given to the hand of the wicked So believe that this whole uh, uh, Place is polluted You know Even it says um, America is the shadow of valley of death So if you ain't seeking after the true power uh, Which is Yahweh In the name of his only begotten son Yahweh Shai You know You're not going to be safe in these locations and places man In these temples made of hand These harley houses man You know So let, let's get it man
I got about Acts 7 and 48. How be it the most high dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as said the prophet. See, so the Lord is not in these churches, man. And and in 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 the the communities, mainly in the in the in the ghettos, what they would co uh, uh, coin it, or you know, in the uh, impoverished neighborhoods, there's nothing but uh, liquor stores and churches, man, and, and food uh, food places that that sell you abominations. But in these ghettos or low income areas, man, there's a lot of harlot houses, which is these churches, man, feeding people these lies and deception, man. So there's, uh, the Lord has a, a controversy. Uh, you know what? I'll get it. The Lord, the Lord is furious with Babylon and mainly, again, these false pastors and leaders that leave our people astray. So believe that the Lord is going to bring judgment. Uh, Hosea 4.1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land because there is no truth, no mercy, and no knowledge of the Most High in the land. Yeah, and that goes it stems also in these churches, man. They have uh, uh, been uh, feeding our people poison again through lies and deception, through Cesare Borgia, which is Jesus Christ, man. That's not the name of our Lord and Savior. Even pushing forth the images of who they call who they call Jesus, you know, our Lord and Savior Yahusha. You know, they push images that he's a so-called white man. You know, the Mary doctrine or or even all the the, the apostles and, and, and holy men, you know, that was with uh, Yahweh Shai, they paint them as white. So that's that's this is lies and deception, you know. And these churches are not going to be a safe haven for you Israelites when all hell break loose. We've been here telling you that Jacob's trouble is going to take place, uh, uh, martial law, uh, 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 war in the streets, man, you know. Uh, Poverty, I'm not poverty, uh, famine, pestilence, civil unrest. And, and our people don't want to take heed to the true servants, the prophets, to get right with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, because Yahweh Shai is going to have a hedge upon the elect of Israel. But they rather seek their own salvation and go trust in their pastors, trust in these churches. But as I read in Acts, I'll get it again, the seventh chapter, Acts 7 and 48. How be it the most high dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as said the prophet. So the Lord, the Lord's spirit, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is not in these churches, man. You know, and this is why a tax is going to happen. Ultimately, the Lord has a controversy with this place because there's no truth and no mercy and no and no knowledge of the most high. So the Lord has to bring destruction upon all these uh, strongholds. But witches and warlocks and false pastors, they all have blood in their hand for ultimately leading you Israelites astray, man. So this is why the Lord has to bring death and destruction. Because our people don't know the true living power. They don't fear him. They believe a lie. So before I get into the article, let me bring this out. And I also have a, um, I have a, a clip. It's like a minute and 15 seconds from... Um, from uh, the first, the first purge, the first I believe it's called the first purge, and there was a scene, you know, of these militias being sent out in these churches to render great judgment, man. And it just shows you, you know, I've thought of this scene that it, it, when all hell breaks loose, it even shows you in this scene that you know, going fleeing from some type of calamity and thinking you're going to go to a church and be safe. You, you ain't going to be able to, 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 to make it out, man. But I'll, I'll play the scene uh, after this real quick. Uh, Second Chronicles 15 and 13. That whosoever will not seek the Lord, Yahweh, the power of Israel shall be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. And hey, that's the judgment. If you don't repent and seek after the true living power, Yahweh, in the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, you shall be put to death, man. And when all hell breaks loose, you ain't going to be able to hide yourself or escape, man. The Lord's going to find, uh, if you're not part of that elect, you are going to be put to death. And it says it here, whether small or great, whether man or child or woman, man. So the Lord is not a respecter of person. And this is why we hear the prophesy, give you one until you ultimately can fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It says, uh, uh, knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, man. So we're here to give you the truth. And judgment is going to go out forth, you know. So let me get to this um, 
before I get into this article, again, I have a, a minute, it says 15, a minute, 15 seconds clip. And this is from the first purge, man. Just to show you, even in these movies, they show you that when all hell breaking loose, that you ain't going to be safe fleeing to these churches. Participating on Main and Third. Gang activity across the island on multiple screens. Participation levels increasing. Increasing violence on various screens. Purgers everywhere, especially in low-income areas. And you heard them, see? Especially in low-income areas, man. And you see that scene? Again, they, they, they were fleeing to the church, maybe to for a safe haven. And this is from the movie The Purge. Well, you know, the... the the, the basics of the movie is, the, you know, it's 24 hours. Everything is legal. You can, you know, you can do all type of crime and it's and it's legal and you can get away for it within that 24 hours. But we're telling you that when judgment comes from your how about shimmy, how shy, it's not going to be 24 hours. It's going to be an all time continual judgment until our Lord and Savior comes back. And ultimately, when the chariots uh, come and then the thermonuclear missiles shot from uh, from World War Three. You know, once they shot to shoot to destroy uh, uh, America, but before that, it's going to be a Jacob's trouble. It's going to be destruction and, and, and chaos, civil unrest in the earth, and thinking that you're going to be able to just hide yourselves in in these uh, in these harlot houses and these churches to keep you safe, where well, you're going to be sadly mistaken, man. So, real quick, I guess Second Ezra's fifteen and uh, fourteen, because this is what's coming. Matter of fact, let me get uh, Jeremiah thirty. And then I'll get second as was Jeremiah 30 verse 4. And these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. For thus said the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling and of fear and not of peace. Hey, and this is and, and this is the same similar uh, uh, times, like even in this movie, The Purge, man. For those that didn't want to participate in The Purge, right, into the uh, heinous, violent crimes, they try to they try to hide themselves in the church for 24 hours and, and let that, you know, let the purge uh, uh, finish. And then, you know, they'll go back to normal. But it just shows you when when all hell breaks loose, people are going to be like madmen sparing none, mainly Esau Edom. And you've seen it in the in that clip, that militia, you know, they, they look like the Ku Klux Klan, man. And they will came and they and they went to where they went to these inner city neighborhoods man they went into quote unquote the ghettos man where you so-called negroes and latinos and native americans dwell and this whole movie the the the, the first purge is it stems from uh an attack in, on, on um in new york staten island you know again mainly where the israelites dwell they first went into these poor uh, uh, uh neighborhoods man the ghettos man and that just shows they're getting inspiration ultimately from these scriptures, man, because this is what's coming. Jacob's trouble, man. I'll read it again. Jeremiah 30, verse 5. For thus said the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling and of fear and not of peace. Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail and all faces are turned into paleness. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Alas, is also going into woe, death and destruction. That day is great. None is like it. It is the time of Jacob's trouble, man. 
You know, so it's going to be a time when it's going to be all chaotic with nothing but a gross darkness of evil and, and misery, you know, uh, uh, bad times that's going to come. Tribulation like no other. But it says he shall be saved out of it, that he is the elect of Israel. Those that trust in Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, that lean on Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, that fear him, you know, that that not, not going to trust in the government or trust on Esau, Edom, their oppressors, or even trust in these false pastors, you know, or in these churches as a safe haven. You know, the scripture says, matter of fact, I'll get it, Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth unto it and is safe. See, so the right, the, the, the righteous, the elect of Israel are going to trust in Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, you know, and, and trust that he's going to deliver them when this time of trouble take place, man. And, and not trust in, 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 in these sellouts, pastors, in these whorehouses, man. What's that, Jeremiah 23? Jeremiah uh, 23 and uh, 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, said the Lord. Therefore, thus said the Lord, Yahweh, power of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them and, and have not visited them, visited them. Excuse me. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, said the Lord. Hey, see, so the Lord's going to bring evil Upon you false pastors, man. And bring judgment on you churches. And it shows you in that scene, man. That these guys were like madmen sparing none. They had a job and duty to do for the for the government in the movie. You know what I'm saying? And they want they they were going to annihilate you Jakes, man. You Israelites, man. You know? And that just shows you why there's gonna be more uh, uh violent uh, uh, uh behaviors is mainly in these churches. Because there's pastors that sold out that are not the flock of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know? And they scattered the, 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 the sheep of Israel, man. And that's why our people are destroyed today, man. Believing lies, man. You know? Believing in different philosophies. And even those that don't even believe in God because you have false uh, uh, doctrines and false pastors preaching for, for lucrative sake, man. For, for money gain. You know? And not teaching the truth, uh, uh, the true uh, uh, truth of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, man, the God of Israel, man. So this is why the Lord says He's gonna bring evil upon you, pastors, man, and in these churches. So let's get into this article, uh, endtimeheadlines.org. Attacks on churches are up 800 percent, but that is only a small preview of what is coming in 2024 and beyond. Anti-Christian violence in the U.S. has risen dramatically in recent years. But what we have seen so far is nothing compared to what is coming if the 2024 presidential election goes a certain way. And that just shows you that a, a Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, is divided, man. This place is divided. Uh, you see the truth is that most of the violence being directed at Christian churches is being done for political reasons. Whether it is accurate or not, many of the left considered evangelist, evangel, evangelical Christians to be Donald Trump's most hardcore supporters. And church buildings are the most visible re representation of the evangel, evangelical movement. Since church buildings are not guarded most of the time, these are easy targets. And they are being attacked at frequency that we have never seen before in the entire history of this country. According to the report that was released by Family Research Council, church attacks in the United States have risen 800% during the last six years. While the Biden administration cracks down on the Christian Democrats and press smear as extremists, church attacks are up 800% in the last six years, according to a new report from the Family Research Council. In February, the conservative group published the report Hostility Against Churches is on the rise in the United States. It identified 915 acts of hostility against churches between January 2018 and November 2023. There is so much talk in the mainstream media about right-wing extremists, but it's actually the left that has been committed acts of terror over and over again. In particular, the number of churches attacks absolutely exploded. Expl 
exploded in the year following the Supreme Court decision that overturned Roe versus Wade. Hey, man, Lord willing, I'll, I'll, I'll leave this article in the description box. But that just shows you just in the matter of, I said, what, from 2018? In the matter of uh, five to six years, man, this uh, in America, even the churches ain't safe, man. And ultimately, it's the will of Yahweh Bashem al Shai. There's a lot of blood in these churches, you know, a lot of deception, a lot of idolatry, adultery that's going on, lies again and deception. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, this is ultimately the Lord bringing judgment. And, and, and as in that scene, hey, you ain't going to be safe. Hey, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you don't want to take heed to the prophets of the Lord, you know, uh, and, and take heed to these warnings and ultimately repent, you know, and try to seek Yahweh Bashim al Shah ten times more. And you don't, you, you don't believe in us. You still want to trust in these... Uh, uh, and these doctrines of trusting your pastors and you think that when all hell breaks loose, I read it in Jacob's trouble, man, it's going to be a time of trembling, of fear and not of peace. And you think that you're going to use uh, uh, your pastor or his his church as a safe haven. You're sadly mistaken, man. You know, all hell going to break loose, man. And you think that these churches or pastors are going to feed you in a time of famine, you know. Or, 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 or when pestilence, hey, th these pastors are, are being uh, ordered from the government ultimately to push forth you to uh, submit uh, uh, to the government, to the oppressor. When, you know, when the when the crown 19, you know, was out, these pastors were promoting uh, 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 to take the jab, man, to take that juice, you know, instead of trusting in the Lord, man. And so on and so forth. They're going to tell you to take the C-hip when Esau issues out the, 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 the MOTB, man, and makes it mandatory. You know? So this is why the Lord has to bring judgment. You know? Death and destruction is coming to the earth, man. And if you don't have if, if you don't have that hedge of Yahweh Bashim al you're going to be put to death, man. Uh, let me get a second. Ezra 15 and 14. And it reads, Woe unto the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw off nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. Hey, just watch all the purges, man. Just like in that scene that I just showed for, uh, you know, you know, this this is going to show he's going to be total anarchy, man. Sedition among men. It's going to be a dog-eat-dog -dog society. And I read in that article, as and it's well known, these churches ain't guarded. They don't have security, you know. The, 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 this place, uh, these churches ain't gonna be able to uh, uh, to to hide you or deliver you from when all chaos breaks loose, man. When you have militias, when you have people that's starving, when you have people that's uh, uh, out for blood, you know, they're gonna go ramshack cribs, buildings, companies, churches. For, and, 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 and issue out judgment Because ultimately the Lord Have the spirit set up for vengeance man So you think you're going to be safe You're sadly mistaken You know So again let me read it uh, Second Ezra 15 verse uh, 15 For the sword and their destruction Draw off nigh And one people shall stand up And fight against an another And swords in their hands For there shall be sedition among men And invading one another They shall not regard their kings nor princes And the course of their actions Shall stand in their power A man shall desire to go into a city And shall not be able For because of their pride The city shall be troubled The houses shall be destroyed And men shall be afraid It says the houses shall be destroyed But the city, you know Whether these businesses, storefronts You know, these churches Hey, all hell is going to come and, and break loose, man. It says, and men shall be afraid. Afraid, excuse me. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So this is what we're here giving you warning, man. Great tribulation, evil, uh, miseries coming, man. So it behooves you Israelites, again, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, to get right and repent to your Bashim al Shai, man. And seek the Lord ten times more, man, and hope that you know you're you're found worthy for salvation, man. Seek this truth, man. You know, forsake these false past pastors and false doctrines, man. You know, those are strongholds. 
that's that's going to leave you to death, man. They're blind leaders of the blind, man. And they both will fall in the ditch. And you got to forsake the uh, uh, this poison, you know, and seek after this truth, man. Because this truth that we're here giving you warning is for salvation, you know. And it's only going to be a remnant. The, 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 uh, the elect of Israel are going to be delivered. Not everybody. You know, so this is why it behooves you to get right and repent before the evil days draw nigh. And again, this article, it says it's, it's a small preview of what's coming in 2024 and beyond, man. And I believe these elites, man, they planning on something. We telling you, man, these elites, you know, they're, they're, they're the enlightened ones. They know this truth. They're, they're the light bearers. Yeah, they're planning on more chaotic destruction upon the earth, man. And we're here to give you that warning to get right and repent. Before the evil days come nigh, draw nigh. I'll end it off with this, man. Uh, so Ecclesiasticus 5, verse 7. And it reads, Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in, the, in, in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Amen. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. Once you're hearing this warning, it, you sh it should light a fire in your ass to seek the Lord, man. This should be prevalent in your and very important into your uh, your day to day walk, man. To seek after righteousness sake, to seek after the truth, man. And get your soul right with the Most High, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, man. Because that day of wrath is coming, man. Evil and bad times and tribulation is coming, man. You know, and if you're thinking that you're gonna be able to be uh, safety and 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 in and, and your security, thinking that you're gonna be having uh, a safe haven in these churches, hey man, it says it here, man. You shall be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance, and that vengeance is from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So it behooves you to seek Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Repent, you know, and get right, man. So with that, again, I pray everything was edifying. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kodash, double honors to the apostles and bishops and elders of great millstone who rule on top and rule well and taught me this truth. And peace and salutations to the Bayaf that would die, the house of David the elect. Until next time, I want to say Shalom.